Hey guys, welcome back to In The Know with Michael Chabot. Of course, I'm Michael Chabot with OnQ Financial. And today, we have a very, very special guest joining us. I'm so excited, I can't even contain myself. I'm, even, I'm nervous, I never get nervous. So that's how excited we are to have you here today. Thank you for joining us. Well, I hope I rise to the occasion here. Absolutely, absolutely. So before we get going, let me introduce this wonderful gentleman. This is Dave Walter. Keller Williams, Westlake Village. We're gonna get right into it. So we're gonna ask some really good questions. Pay attention, get out your pens and pencils, take some notes because we're gonna peel back the curtain and get some really good info here today. So first and foremost, a lot of people ask me this question. Of course, I'm not a real estate agent, so I don't answer this question because I wanna leave it to professionals like you. A lot of people call me and say, you know, thinking about listing my property for sale and maybe buying something else. First and foremost, is it a good time now to list my property? Is it a good time to sell? Actually, it's amazingly, it's a great time. Uh, we've been going through a very weird real estate market. The best way I can explain the year 2014, it was a, a consistently inconsistent real estate market. It was hot, it was cold, it was hot, it was cold. It, April, May were some of the best months, and then June, July, it slowed down, and then finished off the year really strong. And which is not indicative of a normal real estate market. But it did finish real strong and it's starting strong. Right now we're busy, the phones are ringing, the buyers are out there. Uh, I, I do not see any benefit for anybody waiting. If anything, based on the last few years, we're seeing a strong first half in the year and then more weakness in the second half. So for people who say, I'm gonna wait till the summer and sell, I th say, you know, we're really probably better off to jump in the market this spring if the summer is strong, fantastic, but if it's not and you get yourself in the market and out of the market before then, uh, even better. But uh, definitely in today's market, we really don't know what to expect from one season to the next, but right now we definitely have a good strong market. That's very good information. So let me ask you this question. If I'm a seller, I wanna put my house on the market, what is really important to do? What are the tips that you give your clients before you list to make sure that that house you know, sells quickly? Yeah. Well, here's the thing, you know, it's, it's, the basics always apply. We're selling a product and the buyers are buying the product, well, partly because it's, they're looking for four bedrooms, three bath, pool or no pool, one story, two story, but they're buying the one that excites them. It's the excitement that sells them and more of the excitement, more of the purchase power. So the first thing you start with is excite the product, excite the product. It's not different than selling a used car. If you're gonna sell your car, what do you do? You touch up the paint, you clean it, you detail it, you, 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 you make the thing perfect. In fact, you actually clean the windows. And I say actually because most people don't clean the windows of their own house. It's true. And here you're, you're selling your car for 10, 15, 20,000, and yet you're selling a house for hundreds of thousands of dollars, and yet you won't clean the windows, you won't clean the carpet, you won't touch up the paint. It makes no sense. We're walking in properties all the time that really on a marking standpoint, I consider to be a disaster. Where in, in, in a natural tendency of a buyer through the process, they walk in, they walk around and they say, I like this one. What they do next is very expected. They stop and they say, you know something, I'm interested, what's wrong with this? It's kind of like the used car. Now you're looking under the car, you're looking down the sides of the car, you're checking it out. With the house, you're looking high and low, you're looking at the paint, you're looking at the finish, you're looking at the cabinetry, you're looking at the baseboards, you're looking at the house and you're picking it apart for its quality. Now, in, in advance of that, if representing the seller, we have done our job properly and we picked the house apart and we got the house in really in a perfection, clean, move-in condition, the buyers at that point really believe the value's there. Their excitement transcends to the belief of quality and that in turn transcends to a higher sales price. So the first and foremost thing in any selling process is make the product the most exciting possible. And when you master that, you're 90% down the road. You know, that's, uh, there's no wonder that you've sold so many homes in your career. I mean, I think that's the first time that I've answered, I've asked that question of a lot of people and that's probably the best answer that I've ever gotten because oh, I don't you. think most people look at it as you're marketing a product, right? We don't think of it like that as consumers. We think, well, I'm just selling my house, but great points, really yeah. good stuff, guys. Really, really good stuff. So we, we are going to do a three or four part series here with Dave because he has so much information. I mean, we could go on for hours and hours and hours here. This one, we're gonna wrap up. 
We're going to do a few more here, so be sure to come back to the YouTube channel and check out our additional videos. Again, this is Dave Walter, Keller Williams, Westlake Village. Thanks so much for coming out today. You're welcome, Michael. I'm excited to do the rest of these. Again, I'm Michael Chabot with OnQ Financial, keeping you in the know. We'll see you again real soon. Take care.